Hi, my name is Chantelle and I'm taking part in a Share Big My Job program. And what we do is a multimedia storytelling program that targets young youth. We will give them a skill and technology to create the old knuckle voice. And for that we use, we use an iPhone, an iPhone 5. We put the iPhone into well, an MCAM light, a little enables you to pan and tilt smoothly because it's got a bit of weight to it. On top of that we add, we add a little a light, a rechargeable light. We also add a microphone into that. And that's our Mojo Kit 101, the basic Mojo Kit. And we put that on top of a, a tripod like that, or we hold it, we hold it in our hands. And mostly we hold it because it is Mojo, mobile journalism. Today is the first day that Sherbig Mojo students have received our Mojo Kits. These kits will be used for videos, editing, voiceovers and images. This kit will be a start to our Mojo journalism program here in Sherbig. I went to use this yeah. <laughs> Where and when did Mojo begin? Um, Mojo is uh, a relatively new concept, but uh, it means mobile journalist. But for me it began uh, back in 1993 when we began making stories with ordinary people in Australia and teaching them to make their own stories. The big difference though today is that in the Mojo equipment today, um, they can, people can conceive stories, they can edit them and they can also publish them. They couldn't do that in the past, and so that's very, very important. Vincent, why don't we share our stories? Oh, well, we've got to share the message out, eh? Shay has started her Mojo journey. It has led her to Sherbrooke Hospital, where she has seen and learned how important it is to look after our kids' ears here in Sherbrooke. Shay's journey has also taken her to Tingora State School, where she has toured and experienced students being seen by Pickle, the ear specialist on the moving my by deadly earphone. That was a real mad experience. This program is based on the language literacy and numeracy program. Um, so it has a literacy and numeracy focus and we were looking for a new way to engage young Indigenous people in something that's really exciting and really contemporary, using a contemporary technology um, that would help them get interested and um, come along and in the background be improving their literacy and numeracy without really even knowing it. If you don't say cleaning, you say... As a group, we are writing, planning, filming and editing our stories. And we are also learning a whole heap of different skills that will set us up for any jobs that will be offered and available in the near future. 